M&S haul with all my favourite casual outfits for autumn 2021. Now I think this is actually the first haul or review I've ever done on Marks and Spencer, but I've seen some really lovely pieces from their new collection, so I thought it was about time that we took a more in-depth look. I've got a couple of dresses, some trousers, some knitwear, and one beautiful camel coat to share with you all today. And I'll style each piece in a couple of different ways so you've got lots of outfit ideas. So let's get started. One really nice addition to the M&S collection recently is both some new brands that they're stocking and also some really beautiful collaborations they've been doing. So they've got Hobbs, Jaeger, Selected Femme, a wonderful collaboration with Ghost and Nobody's Child to name but a few. And the latter is actually where I found this first beautiful piece. Now this lovely tea dress is from a brand called Nobody's Child and I had heard of them before and so I was really chuffed to see them featured on M&S's website. They're pretty well known for making these style of dresses. They've got that shape down to a T. But a new thing for them, and forgive me if I've got this wrong, but they've just started using Ecovero fabric for their dresses. And as we know, Ecovero is a really sustainable fabric, so that's lovely to see. That was a big tick right from the start. This is going true to size. I went with a UK 10 and it fits perfectly across the bust. It nips in nicely just above the waistband and then skims beautifully and in a really flattering fashion over my hips. I should say as well, the other big pull with this brand is that they're very, very reasonable. This dress is actually retailing for £35, which for a really sustainable fabric, a really nice cut, I thought was very reasonable. So as you can see in this first outfit idea, I wanted to soften the look a little bit and introduce a couple of different brown and taupe tones. So I've added my knee-high boots underneath. You could, of course, add tights if it's particularly cold outside. And then I've layered this beautiful camel coat over the top, which I shall show you properly in a moment. The second look is a style that I'm personally really fond of, dressing down these lovely pretty tea dresses with a pair of trainers. I just think it gives quite a tweed dress like this a bit more of a cool and up-to-date edge. It's nice to know that this dress will cross over nicely for spring. So as you had a sneak peek there of the coat, let's move on to that one next because it is absolutely beautiful. It's retailing at £179 and I would say looking at it and feeling it in real life, it is definitely worth the money. It's been made from a blend of wool rich yarn. So you might have seen over on Instagram, I mentioned on stories that I'm on the hunt for a new camel coat. The one I've got is from Massimo Dutti and it's pretty structured and very elegant and ladylike and chic and I do wear it an awful lot. But I'm looking for something a bit more relaxed and almost dressing gown like. Hopefully you know what I mean, I don't actually want a dressing gown. Just that real wrap yourself up in it feeling. So I've gone for the 12 in this whereas I would normally go for a UK 10 and I would say fit wise that's definitely creating the look that I'm after. You've got quite a smart collar with a really nice touch of the grey underneath there as well. I quite like wearing that collar up actually so you see the grey. It's double breasted obviously and then patch pockets at the front. So as you can see in this outfit idea I've styled it with a beautiful pair of trousers which I shall tell you about in a moment, they've also come from M&S. So I've added just a very simple cashmere crew neck on my top half, and I finished with a lovely cashmere gray stole that was actually sent to me from a beautiful brand based in Japan. Now they're called Edward Brown, and all they make, their speciality, is cashmere stoles and they do it really, really well. So that just finishes off this look completely for me. I think it looks beautiful. So if you're looking for a camel coat for your own wardrobe, I would say this autograph one from Marks and Spencers is a really great option. Despite all those positives, I am always honest with you and I am going to be sending this one back. And my reason being is that I've got my heart set on this idea of quite a dressing gown style camel coat. And I think this collar here is just a little bit too structured, a little bit too thick to create that look that I've really got stuck in my head. But please don't let my slight obsession with this dressing gown camel coat idea put you off because I do think this is a great option for that classic camel coat. One item I have decided to keep, however, would be this beautiful pair of trousers. Again, these have come from the M&S Autograph range and they've been made from a blend of Cupro and Viscose, so they've got that lovely silky drape to them. They're pretty high-waisted, you've got an elastic waistband at the back portion, little back pocket there, and then you've got this lovely wide leg coming all the way down to the hem. They're coming up, as you can see, with a pair of flats, pretty long on me, 
but I would wear them like that, even if they scuff the floor a little bit. I know it's not very practical of me, but I do love when trousers kind of gather around your foot. If, however, you're petite, I don't think you'll have a problem at all having those taken up. Uh, I think that's a really easy fix as well. Again, it's about that shade of camel for me. I just think it's so luxurious and elegant and sumptuous and beautiful for autumn. All the good stuff. So as you saw with that last outfit, I would definitely style them with touches of grey and then adding a beautiful camel coat over the top. All those colours blend really nicely together. I love camel and navy together as well. I think that is a great option. The other outfit idea I had was very much along the lines of that casual, everyday, but chic and elevated kind of outfit. So I've paired it with this lovely chunky knit that comes in quite an oatmeal tone. It's obviously a very minimal outfit, but one that feels luxe because of the nature of those fabrics that are used in it. Just again, look for the nicest quality you can afford. And that quality will really shine through in your outfit ideas. And it's by using those beautiful fabrics all blended together that can turn a really simple outfit into something more luxe. So as you saw in that last outfit idea, I paired those trousers with this beautiful cotton knit jumper. Now this is quite a chunky knit, which is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something quite heavyweight, and I also wanted something pretty oversized. So I took a bit of a pun and I opted for this in the large. As it happens, this must come up very small in the first place. If I'd opted for my usual small, it probably would have felt skin tight. Because as you can see in this footage, it's not really even oversized when I've gone for the large. Despite the fit, which I think I can easily fix by going up a size again, I really like this jumper. I like the cable knit down the front and then the ribbing down the side, that's giving it a nice shape. And then obviously down the sleeves as well. So I would definitely style this jumper as you saw with those beautiful Cupro trousers in camel or any wide leg trouser for that matter. It doesn't have to be this pair. I think black would work nicely, gray would go beautifully. Um, even a color actually, I mean, it's oatmeal. It's going to go with an awful lot you've probably got in your wardrobe. The second outfit idea I had was probably something very typical me on an everyday basis, normally popping out for the school run or going to the shops. So I've just paired it with a pair of jeans that I actually got I think about a year ago now from Anina Bing. Now David actually bought me these in the sale, I think as a Christmas present or a birthday present, I can't remember. And I didn't have the heart to tell him he bought the wrong ones and I felt that I didn't look very nice in them. So they've stayed in the box for about a year. I was intending on selling them and I obviously forgot and I found them the other day and thought, oh, I'll just try those again. And strangely enough, I now really like the fit. So I got there in the end with these and I'm glad to finally be getting some use out of them. I'm simply wearing a jumper, pair of jeans, nice pair of flats and I feel really comfy in it, which is what it's all about. Knitted dresses are of course back with a vengeance for this autumn 2021. So I was really interested to try out Marks and Spencer's interpretation. So I selected this one, which has been made from a blend of viscose. Now being as transparent as possible, it does have an element of polyester in there. However, it is retailing at 35 pounds. And I would say it would be nigh on impossible to create a dress like that and pay people fair wages if this one was made in say pure merino. So there is a compromise somewhere and that would be it. In terms of the shape for a knitted dress, I think it's perfect. I've gone true to size and although it is tight fitting, it's not skin tight, which again is one of my mental notes of things that I look out for. I hate anything being too skin tight on me. Styling wise, you could keep this very sleek and elegant and sophisticated and go with an all black look like I have. I've just added my black tights on underneath. Um, again, because it's not ridiculously tight, you don't seem to see the seams of those, which is good. And I've put my little pointed toe ankle boots on my feet um, again just to really elongate and streamline my shape and as you can see finishing with my classic handbag to keep it looking very tonal I was in two minds with that outfit actually because although I wanted to keep it very sleek and sophisticated I think it would also look really nice if you added a pop of color with a statement handbag and in the second look as you can see I opted for my brown tones again I only have one pair of knee-high boots which is this pair that I have in this lovely taupe tone 
I actually think that black knee-high boots would probably work better with this look and streamline your shape a bit more. However, if you've only got brown like me or another colour for example, I don't think it ruins the look, I just think it would look better with black. And again, hopefully proving just how versatile a beautiful camel coat is in your wardrobe. Finishing with my numero set again and looking at the outfit as a whole, it feels really elevated, stylish and chic. Now I know I said I never wear leggings, let alone the stirrup legging trend, which we're seeing an awful lot of so far this autumn. But lo and behold, I've just bought myself a pair. More than anything, I was really keen to try them out. I do have this way of thinking with fashion that we should all try stuff out, step ourselves out of our comfort zone from time to time, because really, what's the worst that can happen? It doesn't look very nice. Okay, no harm done, you can just send it back. So I thought I would listen to my own advice and give these a go. And please do let me know in the comments section what you think. So this is something we saw all over the runway. And as M&S are brilliant at doing, this pair retail at just £19.50. Now fit wise, I would say they're spot on. I've got quite a long body actually, and they're sitting nicely at my waist. I don't feel like I'm too squeezed into them at all. You've got the pleat detail down the front here, which is as per the fashion trends that we saw, and then obviously the stirrup detail at the bottom. Now it does seem a shame to go for the stirrup detail and then hide it with a pair of ankle boots. It kind of defeats the object. You kind of got to go big or go home. So in this first look, as you can see, I pretty much went for it. I've styled it as an evening wear look, which I thought would be an interesting twist on the style and it kind of elevates those leggings somewhat. So I'm wearing a classic bow top that I got a long time ago now. That one came from Prada and I've layered my lovely black blazer over the top that I got from Everlane. As this is particularly evening wear, I felt it needed a bit more of a dainty handbag and introducing that gold chain as well I thought was a nice touch. Now, although I am essentially wearing a pair of leggings, I do actually feel nice in this outfit. I feel a little bit sexy, but still quite understated, so it still feels very much like my own personal style. And although it's a little bit different for me, I think it works. But before I whip the tag off, I would definitely like to hear what you all think in the comments section below, so do let me know. I do feel comfy, I know that much, but looking at these two outfit ideas side by side, I actually think I prefer the more dressed up outfit idea and just going for it, rather than the casual one. So it'd be interesting to hear everyone's different opinions on those. We all have a bit of a soft spot for M&S. I know I certainly do. I've been shopping there for donkey's years. But what I've realized from doing this haul with them and really taking a close look at all their pieces is that their quality is really beautiful, especially for the price. And on top of that, it's really nice to see all the different brands that they're now stocking and some of those beautiful collaborations that they've been doing. So it's exciting times for M&S and I really like the direction they're going in. As always, it's really lovely to hear from you all in the comments section below, so do let me know your favorite piece that I chose from their collection, or maybe you've spotted something on their website that you'd like to recommend to the other subscribers, do let me know. If you did like this video, I would be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, I would be very grateful for that too. I'll be back next week with lots more styling advice, fashion tips, and outfit ideas. So hopefully you will join me then. Have a good week, everyone. Take care.